Alright, check this out. You guys are back on the Hater World and on Blue Devil. What we have going on today is a reaction video of Little Seti from Bay Recon. Uh, he an upstate Southsider, a homie. And if you guys don't recall, uh, he was down here, I don't know, a week, a week and a half ago for the Grave Digger album release party uh, that we had on Hater World Uncensored. Now, before we get started, I do want to say this. A lot of people hit me up and said, Hey, bro, I like those uh, I like those uh, release parties you do, those album release parties you do. We did Bozo, now we did Gravedigger, and a lot of people been trying to get in on it, right? Uh, they've been trying to hit me up, like, how can they come up here? How can they get it going? And tell you the truth, bro, look, I'm going to tell you very simple. When I do those album release parties, I lose money. All right. Uh, let me tell you why I lose money. First, they're always on Fridays or Saturdays. That's when I do my music lives. So automatically, I'm going to put your thing first. I'm going to push my mind to the side. So I'm going to lose bread. Second of all, I got to prep for all the people that are coming. Food, drinks, alcohol, you know, uh, whatever, right? Then I got to get a couple of homies to come through and watch the doors. You know, if you get what I'm saying. So I got to look out, uh, you know, f to the boys, right? Regardless, I got to look out for my boys. Uh, uh, it's like a big old party, bro. So I got to put a lot of things together, right? So a lot of people have been inquiring. So I'll make this very simple. If you want to come up here and have an album release party, we go live. Depending on who you are, anywhere from 500 to a to what 1200 1300 people in the live uh the entire night is yours we'll play all your records i'll take care of all the copyright things through youtube uh hit me bro and i'll hit you with a number i'll hit you with a number and we can get it going right uh i'm gonna hit you with a number you tell me if you can do it and then we can set you up a date that's simple also if maybe you just want me to promote your music or react to your records Maybe you don't want to go as much as doing an album release. Uh, just hit me up, bro. Hit me up in the DM. I'll look out for you guys. Uh, if you can ask anybody that's worked with me, I always look out. Uh, send me an email, thehaterworld at gmail.com, or hit up my Instagram, at thehaterworld. All right? Yeah, I'll promote your music. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put your content up. I'll react to it. Whatever it is, I'm here to help, right? But regardless, like I said, Little Seti was here in the building uh, with Gravedigger. He actually came after he didn't come together. He was invited through Gravedigger. Uh, and these homies are always invited. So regardless. Well, if you guys know he got faded, he was faded. Uh, he said some outlandish things to Opina. Uh, and he also almost got into an altercation with Gravedigger, right? He said that Opina used to function with the Northerners. And then Gravedigger told him to chill, and it almost turned into a fight uh, or a, you know, altercation of some sort. And uh, the night turned out well. Homie's just arguing, but Little Seti is responding to that night, right? He got a podcast called Never Enough Game. So if you guys are not subscribed, go subscribe at uh, YouTube Never Enough Game, all right? Go run up their comments. Let them know that Blue Devil sent you, all right? Now, what we're going to do right now is watch. We're going to watch the Uncensored Hater World page just so you guys can see the altercation. And then we're going to go over and watch. Oh, yeah, nah, okay, so We're going to go over and watch Little Seti uh, talk about it, all right? Uh, now, check this out. If you guys, you guys are not subscribed, subscribe, like the video. Uh, we got a lot of things coming. I don't want to say them. We're going to just do them. All right, so make sure you guys are going, uh, make sure you guys subscribe every time you guys are going over there to show love, all right? Uh, here's a little piece. It's not a lot. Uh, I couldn't find it in the video because it's a three-hour video, but it's in there. But this is just a little clip. So I'm going to take you for your yeah. word of it because at the beginning of the day, you always, I'm going to take That's you right. always for your for your word of it. Hold I mean, on, hold on, hold on. Droop is having Hoodstock flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never, hey, 
I'm a homie to the fullest, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm 19 and 16. Yeah, I was raising it and, and salute the homies in the mission. I, I know they with it. Um, hey, yeah. Lucky Jealous right now, hot troops. Crazy <laughs> one nine. <laughs> all right, yeah, all right shout out yeah. to the crazy one nine soldiers. Yeah, all good. I, 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 to be honest with you, it was all I'm going to address it, though. And you motherfuckers right. didn't tell me? Hey, he didn't. Oh. He didn't, but I'm going to tell you every time, better. Dirty, huh? Hey, but I'm going to tell you every time, Dirty. my boy. But I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. That, that, that. Ain't got nothing to do with me. Ain't right. got something to do with me, though. Nigga, Bay Area represent Westside okay. Vallejo. That's we right. ain't playing with none of that. If I big homie tell me something, I'm going to say it. I ain't playing. He's from South Central. So what that, I'm what, from Westside. So, West so what that mean? What that mean is I'm going to say so it every mean? time. The homies tell me something, I'm going to say it. You said you didn't feel like you had to address it. Yeah, because I had nigga, to address cause, it. Because, nigga, I'm, we're talking about my album, nigga. We ain't talking about none of that shit, nigga. I, it don't, hey, the homie jump in, I'm going to speak on it. Crazy, you think I'm out of pocket? All right, we got Give Me That 50 Bars. My bad, bro. What you is this? You think I'm out of pocket? My bad. Which one's that I'm one? I'm going to say it. Nigga, you, you handle that shit. <laughs> had to. Give, had me, to. give me that 50 oh, Bars. That's the next record. Time. Nah, this is nah. the record. Now, look, I'm going to keep you guys in suspense. It goes on for another 10 minutes. I actually try to, like, avoid the convo, and if you guys pay attention, uh, I switch the subject. I actually even turned the cameras off for a portion of the video, even though everybody was saying leave them on, not my get down, especially between homies. Uh, so go watch it. If not, I might clip it. You know what? I might clip it. So you might see it as a clip. Uh, but let's go watch Seti. Throughout that entire video, Seti was faded. And Seti was bang gang banging on the callers, on the chat, and the, you know, the, the, the people typing in the chat. He was banging on wax, homie. Little Seti was banging on wax at everybody. He was like, who's that comment right there, homie? Drop the Eddie, right? Uh, but now let's get his response on how he feels about the entire situation. Let's go. I got my boy Lil Seti with me. Yo, yo. What's cracking, my boy? Man. What's cracking? How, how was your week, man? <laughs> it was a wild night, Cuddy. Missed out. Nah, it was it was uh, some bullshit, man, that happened last last weekend, dog. Like what, man? Let, 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 man, let it be known, dog. I want to start off by apologizing to, uh, I want to start off by apologizing to, uh, to grave the digger, grave digger, apologizing to Blue Devil, Droops, Opina, you know everybody that was there at the um, at the listening the album release of uh, Grave Digger last weekend. Hey, before we get any further, you don't gotta apologize, my boy. Trust me when I tell you, uh, I don't care. I've said it many times. I know we're all human. I know that we all say things that sometimes we shouldn't have say. I know when they're coming from, uh, I know when somebody says something to me, bro, I know when it's coming from a bad place or a good place. You feel what I'm saying? I can really tell the, the energy is being said. So if I would have felt that you were disrespecting me in a manner of it's like, fuck you, Blue Devil, then maybe things would have turned out different. But I knew they weren't hurtful. I knew you were faded. I knew you were uh, just, you know, on cloud nine. I ain't tripping, bro. Uh, you ain't got to apologize for shit. You know, I understand. I once was that little homie or that younger homie. I'm an old motherfucker now, so things are different. But I once was a knucklehead-ass fool. So believe me, I've been there. Man, I was, you know, I was under the influence, if I can say the least. And uh, basically what happened is, uh, man, honestly, look, bro, this is what happened. I... I I make it a point not to drink alcohol when I'm doing any type of like interviewing or anytime my face is in front of the camera, just because I've had fools tell me straight up like, bro, we can't, you got to stop doing that shit. Cause I get a little wild sometimes to be honest what I'm alive for, yep. but, and I had already, I already was not going to drink, but what happened is that, um, the week, the week, uh, that weekend was, I, I, I had court, I had court this last week. And I was like, damn, nigga, like, uh, I might have gotten... Uh, it was a possibility that I would be going to jail. You know, for how long, I don't know. You know, that week that that week that I was going to come in. So I had already yeah, yeah. planned to go to L.A. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to do no business, no work, just for me to just chill, wild out for the weekend. 
So basically, this fool was going to turn himself in. He got a case. He was going to go do some jail time. And he was just trying to party, get it out of his system. Maybe keister a bolsita. So that way, when he goes and turns himself in, you know, he goes in there relaxed, you know. Uh, you know, from, you know, being with a couple of baddies, you know, blazing, drinking, whatever it might be. So he was out in L.A. just living it up. And do whatever the fuck I want. I don't want to do no interviews, nothing. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I had already planned that, pre-planned that. I was already going to tap in with my nigga Johnny. Shout out Johnny from the Grammy Boys. So I was already fucking with him, bro. And that whole day, you know, I was doing a lot of shows in the beach here, there. You know, I was drinking since the morning. I was just having fun, fool. You know, I had no idea. I didn't have no intentions of being recorded or anything like that. So, um, and you know me, look, but once I get to a certain point, of drinking alcohol, bro. Like I, I am a different person. Like I'm not even. Yep. I'm a. I'm a. St everybody knows. If you know me, you already know. That's I it. Get... They, that's everybody, though, fool. Everybody. I they're don't not. Know, fool. No, I mean, well, yeah, yes, I, I agree. Know. You kind of, you kind of, <laughs> you do take it to another level. <laughs> but at the same time, uh... I think that laugh is worser, worse than LA icons laugh. <laughs> My boy, that's top five laughs right there. Top five. Goofy laughs. It's like everybody gets that. And but um it, it takes it takes the, the bigger person to admit, admit those things. You know what I'm saying? Well look, this is my situation is when I when I when it's, I know what happens, so then I was like, I don't do those things. But when I put myself in that situation right and I went, look, I'm at I'm at uh, I'm at Johnny's. We're watching the fucking fight. Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney. We're getting ready to watch it. Everyone's chilling. Everyone's having a good time. And then I'm like, you know what? This nigga Dig is having a fucking album release. You know, I'm the only homie out here. Like I know I said I wasn't gonna do no work, but I gotta back the homie up. You know what I'm saying? And it was that nigga was like an hour and a half away. You know what I'm saying? And Johnny was like, bro, you you've been drinking, fool. Just chill, dog. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, you know what? Nah, fool. I gotta back him up, bro. Everyone was telling me to stay, but I'm like, nah, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go show my face for a little bit. Now here's the thing. I didn't know what they were gonna do there. So I get there an hour and a half later, what happens? Bam. I guess Digger sent me a message, but I didn't see the message, right? Until like fucking the other day he told me about it. But I get there. Bro, I'm thinking we're just gonna go inside. It's gonna be like some people in a room where they're listening to this music. Digger's probably gonna have like a microphone. And and then I'm and then we're just gonna be vibing out. I'll probably go there, shake the niggas hand real quick. You know, take a picture or something, and then leave, because I was about to go to Hollywood, and they can hit the clubs after that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So then I was like, I get there, I'm doing the whole thing, and then I'm like, damn. Uh, uh, I'm chopping it up with this fool, and then the homies come through. Hey, fool, come over here, fool. Let's go. We're going to do it. I'm like, all right, we're going to listen to this music? Uh, that's my thought. I didn't know I was going to be on camera, fool. These niggas give me a microphone, head headphones and shit, and send me down. I'm like... Facts. Right? Facts. Uh... He wasn't invited. I didn't invite him, but the homies always welcome. These two homies right here are always welcome. And anybody that pulls up to the hater world for an interview or a podcast, I always tell them, hey, when you're in the area, you're always welcome to pull up. No invite needed, right? Uh, my house is your house. We family. Uh, it's all love. You know, I tell everyone that. So these fools are always invited. Grave Day invited this fool, and uh, we did the uh, we did the album release live in the other studio. Uh, we have three mics. Who do we have? Grave Digger, Droops, Grave Digger, Droops, and Little Seti, and Opina pulled up. So that's four people plus me, five plus the homies that were chilling in the in the room. It was like about six or seven of us, right? But he's a movie star. He get the headphones and the mic before anybody else because he a rapper. He a star. So he's bringing uh, not only viewer potential, but also going to help himself out by being in the limelight. Bro, I'm not in my right mind. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I don't even remember half of that whole shit. You know what I'm saying? I look at myself like, damn, dog, that's crazy how you can do something like that. Mm -hmm. So my point is, um, I don't think I'm in the wrong, dog. Because I didn't go with the intentions of being on camera. Nobody told me they were going to put me on a camera. Or Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen. All right. He said that he don't feel he's in the wrong for doing what he did. 
I don't blame him for doing what he did. He asked Opina live on air that he heard before that he, that Opina would function with the Northerners, right? I feel like Little said he could have told us all in the back, you know, off camera, hood politics, a fool. I heard this about Opina. I'm just letting you know. He, uh, he should have told me first. Uh, uh, I heard he functioned with the Northerners. I'm just letting you know uh, because you work with him. Uh, it's a cool if I go confront him because I am at your place of business. I would have said, let's go get at him, right? But I don't blame him for the simple fact that I feel like he was looking out for us. He was he was thinking like, Blue Devil, my homie. Blue Devil really fucks with the with the blue team. We can't have no perpetrators. We can't have no suckers. And we can't have nobody trying to infiltrate what we got going on, right? So I'm going to let it be known. And he didn't realize or didn't care that he was on camera. For him, it was just like, I'm looking out for the homie Blue Devil. So I'm going to let it be known. So listen, I don't blame him. If it was me, I probably would have felt better if he told me off air. But the little homie did what he wanted to do. And listen, it brought great content. Uh, content for him right here. Content for me right now. But I don't think that type of stuff should have been content to begin with. But it turned out just to be content because nothing else came from it. A microphone. I just went to chill with the homies type shit. And I literally was only going to be there for 10 minutes and then I was going to dip. But then they put me, they sat me down and now I'm over here for a long ass time. So okay, back to what I was going to say. But he's saying that he don't feel that he, it, that he did wrong. Fool, listen. Those are excuses. At the end of the day, it don't matter if you didn't come over for being on camera. It don't matter if you were drunk. It don't matter if you came with the intentions of 10 minutes and you stayed for an hour. It don't matter if I gave you a mic and a microphone. The minute you put on those headphones, the minute you took that mic, the minute you sat down, and the minute you opened your mouth, that was all you. I tell the homies all the time, once you take the job, you can't cry about later. I had a homie that I would always give him work. Like, hey, fool, I got this job. You want it? It pays this much. Oh, yeah, fool, I want it. And I would pay him. And now the job is his responsibility. A day later, oh, fool, I don't want this job. It's too hard, fool. Here's your money back. Nope. You took the job. Now you complete the job. You deal with the job. Don't give me no excuses. You should have checked first. Little said he could have said, oh, we're going to be on camera? Oh, no, nah, I don't want to be on camera, fool. I'm faded. You had time to stop it. The minute you didn't stop it and you went into that room with the podcast, no excuses, perro. No excuses. What I'm saying is, look, bro, that shit could not have been avoided. Yeah. I, I didn't go that weekend to work. I did it. It, my it could have been avoided. By saying, I don't want to be on film, fool. I'm faded. What you mean? Come on, Seti. Don't give excuses, my boy. You better than that. You better than that. My name was not on the flyer. I didn't go for any of them intentions. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know how. How If you would have told me that they were going to do that, I probably wouldn't have gone. To be honest with you, I would have just stayed. Because I was trying to have fun that weekend. Because I was under the intentions. There was a possibility I can go to jail. And I fool, tell me you didn't have fun. You got faded. You game banged on the callers. You game banged on Opina. You had an argument with Gravedigger. I we made content in the back about Little Rob. You kicked it with Big Blacks. Sounds like a fun time to me, fool. Shit, that's that's like six flags all in one. I didn't want to go to jail and be like, damn, I didn't do shit the whole time. I, you know what I'm saying? So, so uh, I feel like it was unavoidable because um. I would. I didn't know I was gonna do it. I didn't know I was gonna be on camera. I have to do it like low key a podcast and shit over there. And then, um, uh, and then in his end, he spoke too because, um, uh, you know, he didn't know. He tried to message me, and the message never went through. Hey, bro, just be cool when you come over here, or, or if you're gonna come, type shit. But I feel like, look, bro, this is what I think. To For listen, my shit's not a podcast. It's a kickback. 
Fool, everybody's kicking it. Blazing, you know, uh, drinking, chopping it up. Fool, we just chilling, listening to music like homies. Motherfucker acting like he had to put a suit and a tie, huh? He had to put a suit, a tie, a little top hat, and come over here on his best behavior. Well, you know, I started doing music in 1996, and my big brother, you know, uh, my big brother, Sleepy, you know, put me on. You know, uh, do I need to be politically correct, sir? Fool, come on, perro. You were kicking it, chilling, drinking, smoking, banging on Opina, and banging on the comments. Everybody was saying, get the fool in the white shirt out of there. Be honest, I really, I really, at the end of the day, I apologize for them for that happening because they fuck with me. But the thing is, Sometimes shit like that's gonna happen, my boy. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when you fuck with somebody, it's not gonna always be peaches and cream, dog. Facts. Sometimes you gotta know how to fuck with somebody through the rough shit. Facts. So you can fuck with them for the smooth rides. You Facts. know what I'm saying? Because I took a lot of L's fucking with niggas. You know what Facts. I'm saying? I took a lot of L's. But but you know what? That's when you know when you're real friends, who your real friends Facts. are. You know what I'm saying? And who really fucks with you and doesn't fuck with you. Mm -hmm. Just like, hey, you might have seen me, I fucked up over there, and like I said, I apologize, but if, if, if there's more bad experiences that you have with me and it's not worth for the good ones, then you can feel free to cut me off. You feel me? But um, but there's people like that, bro. See, he's, he's telling, he's saying facts, right? He's saying with friendships, you're going to have good times and bad times, bro, through thick and thin. That's why, you know, when you with a girl, you might, you might fight, but couples fight. Homies argue. You know, it's going to happen all the time. Now, weak people will say, oh, Seti, he disrespected my place of business. Fuck that fool. Get him out of here. Nah, bro. I don't look at it that way. I look at it like, hey, dog, listen. We're all homies. Ain't shit going to happen here. That's why when he was arguing with Opina, I let him do it. People were like, Blue Devil, you should have stopped it. For what? Th we're all homies, bro. We're all homies. The thing is that we're on camera. So all our interactions get put on live. All our videos, all the times that we're talking and chopping, chopping it up are on live because that's what we do. But we're all homies. It's nothing going to happen, right? I, it's not like he was a stranger or I had like a stranger uh, uh, artist come in and do a podcast and he's dissing Opina. Now that wouldn't happen, but we're homies, bro. It's all good. Don't trip. But I will acknowledge when I did something that was un was inappropriate and it just happened. And you know what? I'm sorry you guys had to see that. And I, you, you know, that shit happened. Opina, apologize, bro. If I, I brought that shit up. I should have brought it up. I don't feel bad for bringing it up. But I feel like I should have brought it up on, 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 not on the air. Facts. But you got to understand, bro. I didn't give a fuck about none of the lights or flashings, bro. I was just trying to address, homie. And that's... Excuses. I fucked up. And um, Droops, I apologize that you had to see me. You feel me? Like, get out of character like that, bro. Fool, we're gangsters, fool. You don't got to apologize for shit. Droops done seen it a million times with his homies. I done seen it a million times with my homies. Fool, come on, dog. You, you acting like it's new shit. It's not new shit. We've seen this shit a thousand times. I don't like... I don't, obviously, nobody likes to be uh, in that situation. Um... Digga, I apologize because, nigga, that, that shit was, uh, I, 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 I haven't up even it. watched it. If you got to apologize to anybody, it's Grave Digga because he was trying to do his album release and have no interruptions and just bump his music, and it sort of turned into, like, a little argument instead of being focused on rap. Well, I'm going to be honest. I didn't watch that shit. You don't want to watch I it. Don't, I, I didn't watch it, but, <laughs> um... But from when they told me, nigga, I kept talking over the homie and doing hella, like, stupid shit. And you know what? Shout out to the homie, bro, because me and him really have a lot of love for each other. And and if I'm sure if I was anybody else, that motherfucker probably would have took off on me, dog. He yeah. probably would have been like, what, nigga? But he knows we do a lot for each other, bro. We He knows that I got his back, and, and I really just want to see him win. And he knows that I was just fucking fucked up, fool. But, but uh, uh, no, nah, he, he's got a lot of love for me, so he let me slide with a lot of shit that day, fool. And, uh, and that's what I'm saying. And Blue Devil, bro, you know? I don't know. I think Blue Devil kind of liked that shit, dog. He was like, oh, look at I like this content. <laughs> facts. Big facts. You know, it brought a little bit of excitement into the podcast. You know, uh, it, it stopped being about music for a little, a little bit, and it turned into a little bit of drama. Of course, bro. 
always, always, always altercations turn into views, right? I'm going to clip that part of the altercation. I'm going to put it up on YouTube as his own clip, so look out for it. Once again, go follow Little Seti and Silent 200 on their podcast, Never Enough Game. Make sure you guys like the video. And to all the suckers watching and not not uh, subscribing, get out of here, homie. Stop being the part of the roaches. Don't be a roach, all right? Be a roach killer. Like the video. Subscribe. We got about not, uh, 75% of our views come from unsubscribed people. You like me, bro. You watch me every day. Stop acting like you don't. Hit the subscribe button and see a real homie blow up. So I could help fools like you. All right. So with that being said, salute to everybody. 50K, we'll roll to a 75. And from 75, we'll go to 100. All right. So 25,000 more. Let's get to 75. Once we hit 100K, we're certified YouTubers, certified content creators, and we're certified in the game. All right. With that being said, salute to everybody. Number love. Little Seti, don't trip. You the homie. Silent, don't trip. You the homie. Uh, Digga, everybody else in the room, don't trip. It's all love. And with that being said, we out.